Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And it looks like the media is finally telling the truth at this point, but it's obviously too late. It's after an election uh, because during the 2022 midterm elections in Pennsylvania, we all knew that John Fetterman had suffered brain damage when he was running for the Senate in that state. But they needed him to be the face of the Democrat Party out there. And they ignored all things, of course, uh, causing more damage to him. Uh, possibly uh, even uh, damaging him further mentally in his brain, uh, but they don't care because it's all about power and they have a backup plan. Uh, I, I did talk about this uh, back in the, during the midterm elections is that his wife would be the one who would take his seat if he would have to step down for whatever reason. And of course, uh, we know that he is not mentally cognitive right now because of the stroke damage that took place uh, in his brain, the and and the way that it impacted. I mean, anybody that can watch this guy talk or or interact with things obviously can see that there is something really wrong with him. Well, the New York Times had finally decided to go ahead and write a story talking about, yeah, there is something wrong with John Fetterman, and 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 uh, too bad suckers of Pennsylvania for voting for the dude that was brain damage. Uh, but of course, we got to continue to give Democrats power, right? And they're going to continue to trot out uh, these men who who obviously cannot do the job and should be really held accountable for it. You know, sending somebody that obviously needs rest, obviously someone needs therapy, someone who needs to have recovery time and not for them. They, they needed him to, to be the face of that party because he won their primary and then he had a stroke. <laughs> they become a vegetable. <laughs> They're like, Oh, we're going to run with a vegetable. So anyway, so uh, before we dive into today's uh, video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Uh, if you um, if do me a favor and hit that like button to uh, 300 likes, that would be fantastic. And of course, if you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, you want to support the channel, smash that super thanks as well. So let's kind of dive into what we have here. Coming to us from WayneDupree.com and the New York Times finally comes clean about the health of John Fetterman. That's right. And New York Times says, uh, but his adjustment serving in the Senate has been made vastly more difficult by the strains of his recovery, which left him with a physical impairment and serious mental health challenges that have rendered the transition extraordinarily challenging, even with the accommodations that have been made to help him adapt. When you're supposed to, uh, what uh, what you're supposed to do to recover from this is to do as little as possible, said Adam uh, Gentilison, his chief of stat staff. Instead, Mr. Fetterman was forced to do as much as possible. He had to get back to the campaign trail. He, it's hard to claw that back. On Wednesday, Fetterman was hospitalized after feeling lightheaded. While attending a day-long Senate Democrat retreat in D.C., tests showed no signs of any other stroke, and his spokesperson said he was in good spirits talking to family and staff members, but he has spent a second night in the hospital on Thursday. It's doctors monitored him for seizures. Well, of course, uh, Mr. Fetterman declined to be interviewed for this story, but aides in confidence described his introduction to the Senate as a difficult period filled with unfamiliar duties that are taxing for someone still in recovery, meetings with constituents, attending caucuses and committee meetings, appearing at, in public at the White House events and at the State of the Union address, as well as making appearances in Pennsylvania. The most evident disability is a neurological condition that impairs his hearing. Uh, Mr. Fetterman suffers from auto, uh, auditory processing issues, forcing him to rely primarily on a tablet to transcribe what is being said to him. The hearing issues are inconsistent. They are often get worse uh, when he's in a stressful or unfamiliar situation. When it's bad, Mr. Fetterman says he describes trying to make out the muffled voice of the teacher in the Peanuts cartoon whose words can never be deciphered. Yeah, they sent a vegetable, Pennsylvania sent a vegetable to D.C. Well, it wouldn't be the first time that a vegetable has been sent uh, to the nation's capital to represent the people, right? Uh, so we see this, we're going to continue to see this play out. And my guess, he has a six-year term. I don't see him serving six years of that term. I see him possibly even maybe having to step aside within the first year. And again, the the governor of of Pennsylvania would go, then go ahead and appoint his wife to fulfill his term. And it's always been the plan. That's why the plan is just like Jill Biden uh, controls much of what Biden says and does and approves. 
It's the same thing what we see here with John Fetterman's wife in the wings. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media, including Odyssey, Gab, and Twitter, all linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and of course, leave a... I'll talk to you guys a little later. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great, great day.